I wanna be happy, happy, happy. Day and night, wanna be alright, happy. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Day 18. Whoa. Today is very exciting because we are going to start on the inside of our chicken coop garden. Yep, that inside circle that will serve as the chicken run. And the chicken coop because there's also that rectangle. Mm -hmm. But we have we've gone up two bags on the outside, and we're not going to do anything else on the outside circle. Now we're going to move all our attention to the inside. Yep. And go up as fast as we can. But well, we got to we got to do a little trench, and run a little pipe mm -hmm. uh, underneath where we're going to run water inside the chicken run. Yeah. It's, it, it's kind of confusing, but let's just get started and I'll explain it as we go. Sounds good. So before we start laying earth bags, we have one more piece of pipe to lay underneath the bags because of water. So you might remember we trenched over here because we're gonna have a water tank that catches water off the roof of the coop outside the outer wall. We need to bring that water back in so that we can irrigate the garden. But we also need water to go into the chicken run because chickens need water. So instead of having to go like all the way outside and get water and come all the way back in, we're also going to run this under this wall over here, right around here. So it's going to be down under the bag, the same thing as that. And that way we can pop water up on the inside and whoever's taking care of the chickens can just get water from there, yeah, that's all. Let's dig a trench. So this is where we're gonna run under the bag. The trench is already at about 14 inches. So that just means we've gotta get, go about four inches down because 18 inches is our frost line. So I just gotta dig out a little chunk here, get this, uh, this pipe set down in, and then we can start laying down. We have a tiny shiny tree collective update. Yeah, guys, um, you bought all the trees in four hours. All 100 trees have been sponsored. Yeah, so a huge thank you because we fully anticipated this taking until December 20th. Yep. And it took four hours. Okay, so here's the deal. We know a lot of you might still wanna help with this. Um, we can't buy any more trees, but we are gonna have, like we've gotta rent a tractor to dig the berms and swales. Tools we need to get, we're gonna have to figure out how to water these things and mm -hmm. take care of them. So if you still wanna help us with this project, we've just switched out on tinyshinyhome.com slash trees to just a donate button. It's a little PayPal donate. If you wanna throw us a few bucks, um, it'll help us with this project. And we've decided since we're opening this up to a few more people that we're gonna do a special video for everybody that's helped sponsor a tree or just help donate towards this um, when we plant in the spring of 2022. Yeah. So once again, guys, just an enormous thank you to each and every one of you who have donated, who have bought trees and who still want to donate. Thank you guys so much. Today's Where Is It At Wednesday. Keep your eyes peeled. Leave a comment when you see it. What? I thought you were gonna ask me a question. Say something. Pickles. Really?
This is Freckles 3, Welsomer again, one of our four Welsomers. There's not too much we know about this specific chicken, because they're so tiny, but she's got some dark feathers on her tail. Here's what I'm dreaming of. A custom tamp that is the full width of our bags and not like two inches too short. Because that means I have to tamp all over the place to get it level. But if it went all the way across, it'd be so much better. Agreed. For the house, we're definitely gonna have a custom tamp. Agreed. Agreed. The reason that we stopped doing the outside and started doing the inside is because we have to use the chain on the inside too. So, actually that doesn't make any sense. Let me start over. It's important that we keep using this chain, especially for like, especially the first layer, not so much the second, but the first one's really important because as you can see, this is where our bag should go here. We kind of messed up the trench a little and as we go out here, it gets even further and further. So I've got to make sure I follow this line and push it out towards the back wall here so it'll, it'll match back up around. Otherwise you end up with a wonky looking circle. <laughs> Justin, I gave 
up day 18 and guys we made some progress today you know when you go from a 40 foot circle uh-huh. to a 20 foot circle uh-huh. it feels like you're going real fast really like warp fast. speed fast which is great uh-huh. <laughs> we got so much done well we didn't really we got half of the circle done but it felt like we got so much done yeah of course we didn't do the chicken anything on the chicken i know yeah we need more than one hour a night yeah we Late start. We had a late start today. Yeah, too um, many things to do. But that's okay. So we're just going to keep at it tomorrow. We're mm-hmm. going to try to get as much of this coop and I mean, run would, area filled in It'd as be we can. really nice to get the first layer on all that done. Right, and these will be the first bags that interlock, mm-hmm. right? Because the square intersects with the circle, and yeah. so we got to butt up against it and like start to create those interlocking buttressing layers. Mm-hmm. But... but. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, guys, that's all for today. (laughs) We'll see you tomorrow.